In his call to 911, you can hear the adrenaline in Landon Lucas's voice moments after he made an emergency landing on one of the busiest bridges at the Jersey Shore. I mean, I just survived. Holy That was a hard the 18-year-old pilot successfully brought this small advertising banner plane down on the Route 52 causeway between Ocean City and Summers Point Monday afternoon without hitting any cars. No one was hurt. I just found an opening in traffic and just put it down. Lucas and the owner of Cape May Aerial Advertising both said they were unable to speak with us today. A manager telling me the FAA was on site at the company's Middle Township airfield. Federal investigators looking into what went wrong. Authorities say Lucas reported the plane started having engine trouble prior to the landing. He described it this way on the 911 call. He said there's a mechanical problem that made just my, like half the carburetors like dangling off the airplane. How tough a maneuver is this? Extremely. <laughs> it's extremely tough. Barbara Tomolino recently sold the planes and other equipment to Cape May Aerial Advertising, but she still does some work for the company. He did an amazing job. Landon's a fine young man, good pilot. According to the FAA's registry, the plane involved was built in 1946. But an aviation expert I spoke with says it's important to remember that just because a plane is old doesn't mean it's not airworthy. Every aircraft, regardless of age, every certified airplane, every experimental aircraft have to go through an annual inspection every year. And the mechanics take an airplane apart, essentially from the nose to the tail, inspect everything. Those planes are constantly being rebuilt up to FAA standards. Accidents happen, engines fail, just like a car. Ted Greenberg, NBC.